Hi Ari, it's Travis in here and welcome back to our adventures in Azeroth. Last episode, I had hair and a beard. And we also did the dungeon, Man of Tombs. And today we're going to continue questing, probably hit level 68. I also added an add-on to our character here, which is called Bagnon. It organizes your loot. And I don't have all these, like, loot issues anymore. Also organizes all of this junk. We can get rid of it quick. We seem to have a lot of junk here that we're just gonna get rid of. Heavy rune cloth. Yeah, we still haven't upgraded our first aid. We'll get rid of that for now. I think that should give us enough space. It should be alright. We'll get rid of these necks hands we don't need. I don't think we need these either. Shoulders are okay. And there we go. That should be enough for now. It cleaned up a lot of stuff. Uh, and we got 311 gold. Farewell. Which means we can get our mount, guys. So I'm thinking about doing that right now, actually. So we're going to fly on over to... Good old Thralmar. And we're going to get our mount. I believe there's a mount trainer there. I hope there is. I've seen some griffins there. Not griffins, I mean... Uh, wyverns. I always forget the name of those guys. But yeah, we're going to be uh, purchasing a wyvern today. And our mount speed is going to go up by 50%. So I think that's worth doing. And we still have the the buff. We've got the Joy's Journeys buff. And I think we got it for one, one more day. And then Wrath of Lich King is going to be coming out, guys. So I don't think we're going to hit 70 before Wrath comes out. And it's kind of a shame. It's too bad. Started this character over a year ago. And it's taken us a long time to level him up. But we're almost there. And yeah, hopefully we can get him up soon. I had a feeling I wouldn't be able to get him 70 before the end of TBC. I think I talked about that a couple of times in, in some earlier episodes. Because we did start a little late into TBC. I think it was like right before phase 2, like the end of phase 1, was when we started our Paladin. Probably should have started during the TBC pre-patch. And then we would have got this Paladin up during uh, TBC, I think. But it is what it is. I enjoyed giving the Wrath of the Lich King Red Paladin a try. I've had a lot of fun playing it, actually. But yeah, we're back in Hellfire Peninsula, guys. And maybe we'll upgrade our uh, first aid today, too. I think that might be a good idea. Head on over there after we buy our mount. I just gotta find out where the heck it is. I hope it's here. Might not even be here. The thing is, Honor Hold had one. So I'm just assuming that there's one here. Looks like there's a stables over here. Maybe this is it. Food and drink. Stable master. Greetings. So who's the dealer here? Who are you Wind Rider Jehubo. You come to learn how to ride? Expert riding, 225. Nice. Into the wild blue yonder. Later. The achievement we got. Traveling. And which one should we purchase? We got the blue one, we got the regular one, and then we got the green one. Tawny, blue, and green. How may I aid you? Goodbye. I think we'll just get the well the tawny. Met. 
I think it looks good with a paladin. And there we go, guys. We got our mount. All right, so let's uh, give this a try. Put it as our, our mount for now. And let's see how fast it is. Yeah, it's pretty damn fast. We're flying at 150% speed, plus the 20% from Crusader Aura. So we're moving quite fast. And I think we'll head down to Falcon Watch, and we'll turn in Aurelian Secret, and we'll also upgrade our first aid so we can start crafting the other weave bandages. Yeah, it sure is nice to have flying, that's for sure. And this will probably be our last episode in Terracar Forest. I think we'll uh, do a couple of quests here, turn in a few, and then uh, I want to give Nagrand a try. Alright, so here we are. Let's turn in this quest first. I wonder where this person is. We have to, have to talk to Magister Aletis. I think they're a patrol. Pretty sure. Choose wisely. Salama Ashalanore. Now, where is the first aid trainer? Right there, there's the medic. Choose wisely. All right, master first aid, nether we bandage. How much do we need? We need 330 to get ourselves up to uh, heavy nether weave. So I guess we'll do that quick. Another thing I love about Wrath is how fast the craft speed is. Like, it was so slow in Classic and TBC, like, take you hours just to craft some stuff. But that's just how it was back then. Everything was longer. Crafting was longer. Leveling was longer. They really started to speed up the game in Wrath. It's when the game really started to change, I think. A little bit for the good. A little bit for the bad as, as well. So why can't we upgrade? Death okay, there we go. Us. Okay, we'll make a couple of these. And then I'm going to sell these. Put this on our bars. I think we only need like 10. There we go. Keep your wits about you. Alright, so let's sell these other bandages. Everything has a price. And there we go. We Alright, so we got a couple of things done there. I'm not I don't know if we'll find a Relian. Likes to walk up and down this spot. Is this him? What business have you? Stay the course. If you think I'll betray my friend that easy, I think I'll have to face me, scoundrel. Oh, looks like we gotta fight this guy. You see that coming? I should've read should have read that. It's, oh wow, he has pyroblast. Spare my life and I'll tell you about Aurelian's secret. I'll, I'll talk, Paladin. Put your weapon down. I don't want any more trouble. I'm Aurelian's friend, but I'm not going to take the beating of my life for him. His mistress is Viera Sun Whisper. Go tell that harpy of a wife of his. What's she going to do anyway? Hold your head high. <laughs> well, 
He was keeping the... Keeping his friend's word there. Almost fought to the death for him. State your business. The mistress revealed, Viera's son whisper, that lousy little brat. I'll show her I'm not one to be trifled with. There we go. We leveled up, guys. Let's see what we got here. Another rank of Seals of the Pure. Get an increase... The damage done by our seal of righteousness, seal of vengeance, seal of corruption by 12% now. So another 3%, not too bad. Let's check out this quest. With all the important matters at hand, Aurelian still found time in the schedule to see a mistress. It's all becoming perfectly clear. Viera Sun Whisper, that filthy wretch, will show her to never cross a magistrate again. Take this scroll and find Viera. Find a way to lure her away from the town and use the scroll on her. Aurelian mentioned she couldn't resist a particular wine harvested by the Cenarian Druids. You might find some at the Cenarian Refuge just inside Zangermarsh, west of here. Okay, so she wants us to head over to, uh, to this area here. And then buy some wine and then come back. I don't know if we'll do that. You guys want to know what happens? We I think we turn her into a cat or a rat or something like that. And that's how she gets revenge. On the... On her husband's mistress. We're in Zangermarsh now. Keep on going here. Should be close to Terracar Forest. Maybe we'll fly into uh, Shadrath. We'll turn in a couple of quests. Surrender to the Horde. Your people are angry, but there is little I can do. Some of us have been touched by the power of the Naru, and we are forever changed. Those of us who remain in the wild are as we have always been. The eyes of Skedis. Doom harkens from the cliffs of Skedis. My people, the Arakoa, face a fate shrouded by unspeakable evil. Too often have we abused dark magic for wrongdoing. Though a Dal, through a Dal, I have learned of the light and of redemption. Tarak watches his colonies from Skedis through orbs enchanted by the black art. Steal these eyes from Vale Resk, Vale Shinor in, in northern Tarak, Tarakar. Let me see what Tarak sees. Let me look through the eyes of Skedis. Okay, so we got some, some more quests to do there. Not sure if we'll do those, though. Maybe we should move on. And just go to go to uh, Nagrand. That might be a good idea. Cause I've done a lot of these quests on my DK already. And it'd be cool to kind of change it up a little bit. But I do want to find this Ezekiel quest here. I'm interested to see if we can do it or not. We're looking for an NPC. A drain eye NPC. Might be up top. I don't think he's up here though. I guess I got lucky the last time I found him. Maybe we'll find him right down here. There he is. The Legion's end draws near. Book of the Dead, never heard of it. What's this about anyway? Who sent you? Ramdor, hmm. 
Let me think. Ramdor. Oh, yes. The Death Priest. What does he want with the book? Well, it doesn't matter. Yes, I lied to you, and no, I don't have the book. Not anymore, anyway. It was stolen probably by one of those filthy refugees. Besides, Bakundun is now defunct. We have no use for the book. If you find it, you can keep it. Like I said, I saw some of those Rufians snooping around the terrace last week. Start your search with them. They're probably playing dice in the slums. Favor the road traveled by few. Funny thing is, is these guys are refugees too. Like, <laughs> like Draenor's not even their, their like homeland from Argus. But I guess they they built Shadrath, so I guess that's why they they call everybody refugees here. Oh, and this guy's doing the quest. You gotta fight this guy. What can I do for you? Should go help him, whatever. Here. Maybe we'll get some XP for this, but the thing is, I gotta do the quest. Oh, he beat down Dirty Larry. Surprised that, that completed for us. Yeah, okay, cool. Well, the thing is, it's like he, Dirty Larry's got the got the info, and then he said, tries to fight us. Hey there. What book? I don't see any book. Oh, okay, don't hurt us. We had the book, but we sold it. A couple of Dre and I paid us a visit last night. They'd somehow learned that we had a book in our possession and made a very generous offer to take it off our hands. We didn't ask them what they wanted with the book, but the young one kept talking about the master's grand design, whatever that means. Look, I don't ask questions when money is in play. They gave us a lot of gold, and we gave them the book. He said that they lived in the Grand in the old abandoned armory north of Talar. See you later. Okay. So maybe we will uh, head over there. So I do want to go to the Grand. And we'll, uh, we'll turn in this quest here. This will be our introduction to Nagrand. This will probably be the final zone that we level in, I think. For the rest of TBC. On this paladin. Try to keep it a little bit different on the shaman. Got the shaman in Zanger Marsh right now. And here we are in the Grand. We are at the abandoned armory. I'm not sure if I've done this quest before. The signs were all there, but I turned a blind eye. The Legion's grass grows stronger every day, even in these parts. Had I known, had I known, that my boy was communing with demons, they offered him power and then gave him a taste of that power. That was all that it took. The book is gone, taken by Levixus. His plans are known only to me and his dark master. Stranger, I don't know if you've ever done right in your life, but know this, the boy must be stopped. Vision of the dead, it has already begun. Leviscus stands atop the ruins of Akendun and reads from the book of the dead. He calls the dead out by name and through demonic ritual, binds the tortured souls to his will. He will raise all of Akendun if given the chance. But you must first prepare. You cannot do battle with that which you cannot see. Nitron hands you a parchment. Bring me the items I require to brew the, the tincture. 
It will open your mind and allow you to see into the spirit world. Alright, so looks like we gotta get a bunch of stuff. Okay. I guess we'll head over here. We'll go to, like, the main city here, or town. In the Grand for the Horde. We'll make this our home for now. I think we'll queue up for uh, a dungeon here. Looks like we've unlocked a lot of them. We'll queue up for the Black Morass, the Escape for Turnhold. The Mechanar would be good. And there's Corrin Direbrew. They also have Utgard Keep. A couple days we could actually queue for that. That'd be kind of funny. I don't know if I would do it though, because this is a, supposed to be like a TBC Let's Play. So we probably won't do a Wrath of Lich King dungeon. So let's make this place our home. What are you looking for? Go forth to victory. And we'll uh, we'll pick up some quests here. Let's see. If, we won't pick up them all, but we'll take a, a couple. Wanted Giselda the Crone, the Garadar Burl Bulletin Board. So let's find out where that is. I think it's down here. Yeah, there it is. Alright, registrants are required to speak with Warden Bull Rock before posting any tasks. Those found making unapproved postings will be prosecuted. Post no bills. Wanted dead or alive, Giselda the Crone of Killsorrow and her lackeys for murder. Ritual sacrifice, communing with the Legion, kidnapping and burglary. Known to congregate at Kilsoro Fortress in southeastern Nagrand, near the border of Terakar. Large gold reward to be dispensed by Warden Bullrock at Garadar to anyone able to bring Giselda to justice. And then we have Wanted Zorbo the Advisor, Wanted Dead or Alive. Zorbo the Advisor, wanted for numerous planned attacks on Garadar, along with his Reavers and Shaman. Zorbo has slain countless orcs. Consider Zorbo as armed, dangerous, and merciless. Zorbo makes his home at the Laughing Skull Ruins in the northern mountains of Nagrand. Reward for Zorbo the Advisor's death or capture to be dispensed by Warden Bullrock at Garadar. Alright, I wonder if any of these are elite quests. They don't seem to be. Let's see what he has for us. Proving your strength. Check the bulletin board if you're looking for work, Blood Elf. Though we seek a peaceful life, our enemies are many. Of these, none match the ogres in sheer brute power. If you seek to prove your prowess to us, bring me the war beads they wear around their necks. I will tell others of your accomplishments. May your blades never die. Okay, so there we go. We got a bunch of quests. It's like we can get some war beads and also maybe slay Zorbo the advisor. So maybe we'll do that. It's like Giselda's down here. Oh, got invited to a group. Let's check and see what we got here. There's also a dungeon, the Corn Dire Brew one. That's for uh, I don't know if this is for Corn Dire Brew. This is for OHB, Old Hillsbrat. That's going to be a good one. So maybe we'll slay a couple of agents here. I didn't think we'd get summoned that or into a group this quick. I guess one of these uh, DKs will tank. I wonder if anybody's even close to um, Tanaris at the moment. We have one guy in Tanaris, Corzo. And then we have DK for Harambe. These guys are all kind of close. All right, cool. All right, so it looks like we're going to do a little uh, Caverns of Time quest today. And that will allow us to do Black Morass as well. So that's good. 
And we're gonna save Thrall. Gonna save Thrall from Durnhold Keep. try to get like a picture here. Picture of us flying on the wyvern. There we go. Looks like these guys are already at the stone. Let's try to fight as many of these guys as we can. I think she's inside this one of these keeps here. Maybe we should go for Giselda. See if we can get her. Oops. Should be right in here, right? So OP thing about flying, you can skip a lot of stuff. There she is, we're going in. Oh, it looks like she's a demon. Yeah, she got completely wrecked. Raining my mana there. She almost died. I'm gonna shrink up quick. Speaking of waters, we'll probably need to buy some more. I wonder if anybody's close. I think they got somebody flying down, yeah. Well, ice will hurt after this. So we'll hurt out here. It should be pretty. I should be pretty close. We'll purchase some uh, some waters before we go. I think we're gonna need them. Actually, damn it! I should sell these. 
Should get these better waters here. I'm gonna go broke buying all these, but it's worth it. Yeah, almost all played. Guess the rest of Shaman is the healer, and we got a bunch of DKs in me. Guess we have a quest we can turn in. Wanted Sorbo, the Giselda, the Crone. The crone has been slain. This is wonderful news, Traviton. Here's your reward. Go forth to victory. That was a quick one. I guess we could go back eventually. Slay the rest. Supposedly we can get some war beads here. Yeah, I'm happy we're going to get at least a little bit of questing in the grand. I don't think we'll be able to do the whole zone. Just too bad. It's a pretty good zone. I did a lot of quests on Flag Carrier, my Druid. In this area. So what are we looking for? Are we looking for these guys? These wind rocks? It's like we are. Let's try to group up a couple. Be sure how we'll do here. Let's stick with two for now. We need the flawless wind, wind rock beak. I wonder how we get that. All right, this should be summoning soon. Yep, there we go. Let's accept this summon. Give him a thank you. And we'll give him a couple of buffs too. And then we're going to have to accept this quest here from the Steward of Time. Do we have to fight those guys? I hope not. Beware, mortal. Beyond this hall lies dangers unheard of in your world. Tread carefully to the master's lair. Ah, uh, Travenin, we have been expecting you. Please allow one of my brothers to fly you down to the master. He awaits you below. <laughs> and here we are. We're in the caverns of time. I always thought this part looks kind of cool. Even though it, it's kind of strange at the same time. The asteroids look kind of weird. Alright, so here we are. Okay, so I guess we'll get our Hawk Strider mount out. We'll have a chat here with Andormu. We must prepare you for the battles that lie ahead. Greetings, Travadin. Please follow the custodian. She will make things a bit more clear. All right, so who is our custodian? Let 
Is that her? Well, no one's telling me. Okay. Greetings, Travadin. I will guide you through the cavern. Please try and keep up. We do not know if the caverns of time have always been accessible to mortals. Truly, it is impossible to tell as the timeless one is in perpetual motion, changing our time ways as he sees fit. But what you see now may very well not exist tomorrow. You may wake up yesterday and have no memory of this place. It is strange, I know. Most mortals cannot actually comprehend what they see here as often they see is not anchored within their own perception of reality. Follow me, please. So I wonder who's who's our custodian of time here. If <laughs> there's a bunch of them, there's like four. <laughs> we have four custodians of time here. One of them is ours. There are only two truths found here. First, that time is chaotic, always in flux and completely malleable. And second, perception does not dictate reality. As custodians of time, we watch over and care for Nazdormu's realm. The master is always at the moment, which means that attempts are being made to dramatically alter time. The master never meddles in the affairs of mortals, but instead corrects the alterations made by time to time by others. He is reactionary in this regard. For normal maintenance of time, the keepers of time are sufficient caretakers. We are able to deal with most ordinary disturbances. I speak of little things, such as rogue mages changing something in the past to elevate their status or wealth in the present. These tunnels that you see are called timeways. They are infinite in number. The ones that currently exist in your reality are what the master has deemed as trouble spots. These trouble spots may differ completely in theme, but they always share a cause. That is, their existing existence is a result of the same temporal disturbance. Remember that should you venture inside one. <laughs> this guy's hating this. <laughs> this timeway is in great disarray. We have agents inside right now attempting to restore order. What little information I have indicates that Thrall's freedom is in jeopardy. A male malevolent organization known as the Infinite Dragonflight is trying to prevent his escape. I fear without outside assistance, all will be lost. Follow me, please. This is my fifth 70. Yeah, a bunch of alcoholics playing this game. I've lost track of how many times I've done this. I've done this a couple times, probably like four or five. It's a cool story, though. I think, I don't know. It's cool how you go back in time and do all this old stuff. We have very little information on this timeway. Sat has been dispatched and is currently inside. The data we have gathered from his correspondence is that the Infinite Dragonflight are once again attempting to alter time. Could it be that the opening of the Dark Portal is being targeted for sabotage? Let us hope not. Yeah, they're trying to uh, sabotage the Dark Portal and stop Medivh from opening it. Because if he doesn't open it, then and the races of Azeroth, or the humans, won't know about the Legion, and then eventually they'll get invaded, and uh, they'll get completely wrecked by them. This timeway collapsed and reformed. The result was Stratholm of yore. What could possibly be happening inside? Oh wow, this is uh, this is going to be uh, a Wrath of Lich King dungeon, guys. This is the culling of Stratholm. That's so cool that they have that now. So yeah, you'll be coming into the Caverns of Time. You'll probably have to do this quest to actually do the Culling of Stratum, I would assume. Okay, what do we got here? 
Highways are currently ranked in order from least catastrophic to most catastrophic. Note that they are all classified as catastrophic, meaning that any single one of these timeways collapsing would mean that your world would end. We only classify them in such a way so that the heroes and adventurers that are sent here know which timeway best suits their abilities. And then we're going to talk about Mount Hygel. One of the raids with the most trash ever. All it is is just waves of trash. And you it's pretty much can't skip them. <laughs> it's overall a chill raid though. Once you get it down. Follow me, please. All we know of this timeway is that elites in Mount Hygel, the Infinite Dragonplate, have gone to great lengths to prevent our involvement. We know next to nothing, mortal. Soradormi is currently attempting to break through the timeway's defenses, but has thus far been unsuccessful. You might be our only hope of breaking through and resolving the conflict. Narcomon's a pretty fun boss. Like, if anybody dies, it, the damage really ramps up that you take. And it really sucks when somebody dies to just fall damage. It does happen quite a lot, depending on the, the raid group you're in. Hopefully, you now have a better understanding of what is expected of you. To the west is the Timeway of Hillsbrad, the past seven years to be exact. Forces are working against the Horde War Chief Thrall, attempting to prevent him from ever escaping Durnold Keep. If Thrall ne never escapes this world, as you know it, it will cease to exist. Gather a group of adventurers and take the timeway to Old Hillsbrad. Two of our agents will await you inside to speak to Erosion on the other side. Alright guys, so off to, uh, to Durnhold. And I am going to be calling this episode here. Next episode, we will be in Old Hillsbrad, and we are going to hopefully help Thrall escape. But as always, thanks for watching. Keep your heads up. Later.